Hello there, Cancerian. Welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for coming through. And I do hope you are well. It's a very beautiful day. I give thanks for all the abundance that surrounds me today. Thank you for all the love. Thank you so much for all your support, your likes, shares, subscribes, beautiful comments on my channel, Cancerian. <coughs> hmm. Okay. What I'm seeing for you is that there's this intense attraction between two people, male, female energy two people we have the king and queen of wands who let me tell you oh my god cancer you are looking radiant let me describe you i'm looking at you look <laughs> okay so remember that these are general messages so all of the messages may not apply to all of you cancerians so do take what applies and the rest let it fly welcome in thank you for bringing in your energy here your energy is super important in this reading so as you breathe along with me we're able to get more accurate messages out for the collective cancerians so let's do reading for cancer sun cancer moon cancer Venus Cancer rising and even welcome in a bit of cross watchers energy as well. Let us see what's going on. All right, so you can see so you're looking amazing. I feel like you feel you feel attractive. You feel attractive. You feel hot. You feel radiant. You feel like hot bread. You feel attracting, like you're attracting, um, you just feel good. I feel like you, you're you manifesting, you're focusing on what you want, right? You're focusing on your manifestations, on your dreams, on your businesses, and you're nurturing these things because look at how she's holding the flower. She's giving it her attention, her good thoughts. She's whispering to this dream or this goal whatever it is you're you you're in your your feminine magician energy all right so for males you are here too you are chasing after your dreams when it comes to how you're manifesting you're going after what it is that you want you're also looking very attractive very powerful because you're in mission I feel like you are you're in go getter energy now sweating I feel muscles and glistening anyway I just feel someone a male that's doing work working hard very focused and it's actually I feel like you're in you're building on your mental capacity or intelligence some of you could be studying or something that's actually um, elevating your intelligence okay something that's making you so attractive and you feel good about yourself as well some of you males are seeing some female that you are attracted to now this could be a fellow water sign this could be a fire sign but i feel like you're put you may maybe some of you were blocking connections from someone or you're currently blocking a connection from a person now that is possibly water sign but we'll see or fire sign earth sign as well so that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Any one of those signs you could be blocking while you're trying to attract the attention of someone else here. So I do feel you're going after what you want, whether it's in your business or romance or both. You're chasing your dreams and it's very powerful. It's very attractive. That's the, and that's the only word I can seem to come up with is attractive. It just means like you're, you're heated 
and you're not wasting time you're not idling you're really focused on what it is that you want to bring forth you're chasing your dreams and so i feel like you're you're not you're not you're not entertaining certain ideas friends people you know connections relationships anymore you're really just focusing on your goal all right so that's you you could be running into someone that you want to form a relation a bond with start something new with and this could be business or romance but i do feel hard space connection here that's what this attractiveness feels like a hard space connection because it's something that you desire you're chasing after your heart something that your heart feels to want a soul connection perhaps and so you're you're going after that energy all right let's get back to females so you're here you're looking attractive as well you're looking so beautiful you too are chasing your dreams you're focusing on what it is that you want as i said earlier of course in a more feminine perspective where you're more relaxed you're not blocking you're allowing things to come into you right now someone could be attracted to you where they're seeing who you are they're seeing you're like hot bread did i say that before hot bread it's like um the energy it's like this independent flower with this beautiful fragrance bursting out of her as she's just there chilling out focusing on herself queen of cups energy of course i feel but you're more representing as being young attractive radiant chasing after your dreams focused you know where you want to get to and you're going to attract the people that you need all right there's also an opportunity here that you're taking advantage of of a, either a business connection for you females i feel it is a business connection it's more business than love because i feel what you're focusing on right now is building your business or bi some idea some creative pattern um chasing your dreams as well so you're not really focusing on on, on love it's okay you like uh you like it's okay that you get the attention i feel but um you i feel your purpose and your mission is huge but this person wants to come catch up to you and grab you the first two cards that came through are came out of the deck with the five of the five of pentacles and the jack of pentacles i'm feeling someone may want to return to you and they are returning looking good this is a person that normally takes care of themselves the way how they dress how they appear very uh would say they dress with style with fashion you know uh they like to look good and take care of their external like um appearance this could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn this person is returning to you hmm, it's like they want to oh It's, it's as if they want to maybe you walked away from this connection but this person wants to appear ahead of you again i think i said that before you know they want to appear ahead of you as if they still want to be an option for you appear and it's just like they'll pop up ahead of you when you're trying you're moving forward you walked away because I feel in this connection some things were missing. I feel things were missing. Value. A lot of important things. Values. Values. Alright. <clears throat> so see, here they come. This person feels like they've been working on themselves. They feel like they're coming back with all of themselves to say, here, look, um, I've been doing all of this work. Well, they're not going to tell you. They're trying to show you. Here I come. Look at me. I've done so many, so much work. I'm here. Look at me. <laughs> I'm not the same anymore. I'm different. I've been doing the work. I, I worked. I fixed this and I did this. I did this. I did so many things. And, and here I am. Um, they're trying to be confident, but it's, it's pleading. It's it, it feels like it's literally pleading with you to accept, to accept me. Just accept me. Accept me. Here I am. I've done so much work on myself. So yes, something ended. And you're looking for something new. But this person probably wants you to choose them to have the new with. Okay? This may be a business potential. Look, we have the eight of swords. So 
this person they probably did a lot of work in real life you know because the eight of swords is this person was probably let's see if i get clarifications but hold on hold on they did a lot of work and 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 for some reason it wasn't as hard as they thought it would be maybe because they aligned with their intuition maybe i feel like this person wasn't one that was ready because they were still focusing externally now i feel like this person has aligned with the ace of one's energy here with a new inspiration a new sense of self a new the new feeling as if I am I am all that I need because the ace of wands is that soil that anything can be planted in and it flourishes it's just, it's it's confidence it's that it's this person realizing that I can be all that I am I am enough with the ace of wands energy that fertile soil that knows it is enough it is enough wealth you know it's not just wealth externally it's that it's literally soil that is fertile so they aligned with that energy which is also your intuition your own sense of of self okay and um your own sense of knowing who you are trusting in your own ideas your own gut feelings your own feelings this is what this person is aligning with and maybe that's why they're deciding to chase after you okay or come after you for some of you it's someone new but I just feel like this person that wants to come in your space again in the future for some reason can say all right all right so the ace of swords it just feels like either they aligned really quickly and healed but they're still coming back as the jack so for me it feels like they've just because it was done so quickly. I'm wondering, how can someone heal all of the Eight of Swords energy so quickly? This is how I'm thinking now. Because it feels like they've done it really quickly. This amount of work, I would say, this takes years. But you know when you get something bandoozled, like you get a bandoozled driver's license. And you think you're ready for, to drive, but you don't have the years of experience that it really takes. Maybe I don't feel like this person truly went through their dark night of the soul. They didn't allow it. They, they, they subdued it and they think they've healed. But they're coming and, and, and they, they want to. They really want to, to come back around to you. So they, it's like they, they, paint, they painted the, the red roses white or however that goes. Just to have an appearance. That's what I'm saying. This person they take pride in how they look and how they appear they like to appear confident and they're very very good at it but you can see this person's heart this person's emotions this person's energy you are you know you are who you are you're knowing you are in tune with your intuition cancer so you feel energy so when this person comes around you'll know that they're coming as still as the jack still a bit um the word broken Broken hearted, of course they're sad. I feel that I know this. Okay? It's, and and if they don't fully heal, they paint they can't just paint something over. It's more the energy that what they did with this healing or this dark night that they're supposed to really dive into is they're trying to f they found a way to float up on top of it. They haven't dived into it. They found a way to come up on top. To so maybe to suppress, to put it away, to deny. But 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 the energy I'm feeling is, it's welling up. And um, I don't know what might happen in the future. Let me see if I can feel that energy. What happens in the future to this energy? Did this person heal? Am I correct? What is that? Oh gosh, beloved ancestors, angels, spirits, guides, do welcome in. You're welcome into this reading. Thank you so much for being here. Help me to get messages for this person's energy.
it's it's emotions feelings uh what is the seven of wands i need to clarify this energy it just it feels like okay <sighs> okay okay <laughs> okay so it feels like a machine may blow up that's the energy if it's overloading you know when you think you turn you had turned the machine off the popcorn machine off but it was still left popping so this energy that they're suppressing it is still active it is still attracting to it you know and they may be good at not showing you that but it this energy is still attracting to it what it is so it's the energy of that mash popping popcorn mush machine that is popping and then it may explode i don't know if it might hurt someone I don't get the feeling of it hurting anyone. Oh, what is the Five of Cups energy? The six of Cups, we're just counting today, aren't we? Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It could hurt someone. It, it's... Any more clarifications, please? It's as if someone is not paying attention to the, like they're sick, that they need healing. I don't think someone is telling the truth. Maybe someone wants to return to you because they feel you will help them to heal this, but they're not coming in honestly. They're not representing as who they are, but maybe you will know this. What is the four of wands? I mean the four pentacles. Oh my God, this energy is so much. It's, it's, Mm -mm. It's almost like I can't, I cannot do it. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's so hard. Kind of mystery. I mean, this person is feeling a lot of things right now. They just want to be happy, and I feel like they want to be happy with you. It's but they I they need there's some things that need to heal. I feel if they ignore what really needs to be healed, this person could end up in the hospital with some sickness, with an illness, an injury or some internal thing. And then you probably are going to have to be there for them to be by their bedside to take care of them to because they will need you and they may go to that extent to see you this is a powerful connection here between two people Pow it's we have king and queen of cups king and queen of wands we have the three of cups and the, both of you were re were you reunited or united and I hear lost like this person feels like they lost the opportunity to connect Tarot what do you say okay what do you say about this energy message the message is for you 
Cancerian to um, continue following your heart. And it may lead you in the right place. And don't feel like you did the wrong or made the wrong decision by moving forward and doing what you have to do for you. Don't get distracted. You have a goal and a mission to fulfill. You know this. It is your heart that called you to move away from anything. Every decision that you make, you're seriously aligned with your intuition. This is your true power. I feel how it leads you on your path. Right? For this, in, in, in how it relates to your person, is that they should keep following their heart as well. And I feel like if that means they feel they need to come through for you then that's what they need to do but it's important for you to be in control cancer of your emotions stay on your path know where you're going and you don't have to block people you just have to have control you control over your emotions you know where you need to be. And um, I feel you are protected too. Just by focusing on your dreams and your mission, you're so protected. All right, we'll, we'll wrap this up. Last messages for cancer. <clears throat> all right so someone wants to return from your past or someone wants someone wants to return from the past this is so much i'm telling you it's a lot going on here that i'm picking up for you today oh my god someone wants to chase their dreams the energy is two people are standing talking here maybe old friends and then all of a sudden something happens and this one has to leave you know like the energy of superman being clark kent and then all of a sudden something happens and he has to go that's the energy i'm getting with these two cards so maybe someone left and you're wondering who the person left standing here is wondering why did they just leave like that so hurriedly so quickly this person this person that left is moving into going into some blessings are going to claim something it's it's not a fight it's more it's as if this person got a call to come for something that was that they've been hoping for to come retrieve something and so they're going. <clears throat> Who is that other person? We have two. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm. Two people have grown, grown up, gone their separate ways. But it's almost like you're still the same people. One is more focusing on what they're chasing after and one is focusing on blocking this person if they are to return. All right, there's a lot of energies, Cancer. I'm going to just shuffle out the cards and leave it there. Oh my goodness basically some of you went through a lot okay we know this something's ended some of you are walking away creating something new wanting a new beginning some of you want to connect with a soulmate energy some of you want to be happy some of you are happy some of you are working building creating something new some of you are receiving money some of you are already rich 
some of you are going back to school and studying and releasing energies from the past majority of you are becoming very powerful knowing who you are reclaiming your power many of you are leaving a lot of these things behind and moving forward there's a greater place for you to be and you know this you're following in your heart the steps of your heart toward where you need to be majority and and some of you are literally just still caught up in defense mode blocking denying rejecting but it, it still keeps you focusing on past it still makes you present in the past okay so if you pull yourself up out of this energy to put yourself at the top of your story with the pen in hand writing your own story you know where you you're writing yourself to be instead of stuck in this all of these thoughts and things you want cleared up okay some of you have very specific questions that I'm not able to, to hear or see right now but I hope I've give hinted at the responses so far I'm leaving this reading right here some of you need to heal your past life, your past connections, your childhood, your heart space. Spend more time with your heart, loving on you, working on your confidence, your integrity. All right. Your values, your core values. So stay tuned for more messages on, on this channel, Cancer. Thank you so much for coming through. I hope that you're well. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes and your comments on my channel i really do appreciate and i love truly all of your support all right so stay tuned for the next upload for you much love take care and remember that all is within you Bye.